Hey ho people, it's Starless from UnitLoss.com and we're going to have a look at the UI options in Terra Online. Now, I have changed my UI, it's not the standard UI, but I'm gonna, what I want to do is, is go through the actual options. So, you know, because this is more of a, an action um, MMO game, you know, the combat, you, you don't actually have a mouse point on the screen all the time. So, obviously, I, I hit escape and it brings up the options. Now, you know, all of these are fully movable. But let's open up the uh, system menu and go into the options and then let's hit up the UI options. So the, the first big option you get is scale the UI. Now I've got mine to 93 so I can kind of see what's going on but you know you can have it really big you know, or really small. Um, as you get to know the game often is the case I mean it kind of happened with me with World of Warcraft. I used to have like a, a slightly bigger UI to begin with then I really scaled it down because all I really cared about is the uh, the chat although looking at the chat it does seem to be quite bad. Apparently, America, fuck yeah, oh dear. But, um, you know, so like, I want to keep mine to 90, but around about 90 just to begin with, so I know what's going on. I won't miss things, because obviously, you know, I've not even played the game, I'm just setting up my UI. Um, but then this is the interesting thing, you can actually scale specific UI elements. Now, so the HP and MP bar, so your, your mana power and your, your health power, um, I've got that selected now. I can actually scale it. So I've got it to 67. I can say let's go to you know, 137. You can visibly see it getting much bigger down the bottom. Um, you know, I, I kind of like that. That that's kind of nice. And you know, obviously you can you can do your compass, you can do your mini map, your quest tracker, your shortcut tray, um, which is obviously your, your hot bar. Well, it's, it's your hot bars, you know, but they've called it the shortcut tray. You know, so I've got mine at 91. I can make it much bigger if I need, you know, or... I mean, I guess the problem with this I could see is because... Um, I mean, again, using WoW as an example, because it obviously had, a, you know, probably the best MMO, MMO UI there is, you know, with all the customization options. Sometimes I'd like a really big hot button, you know, say for, I don't know... Uh, last stand or you know some kind of ability which I really need to click on you know and I need to see it there you know it's like wow that's a reactionary ability sort of ability type thing and also I want to see the cooldown um, but in this it seems like that's a little bit of a problem at the moment but you know, it's, it's not much of an issue so that is that is kind of big that is you know you can actually change but also things like the crosshairs which are pretty unique to this game because you know it's like an action MMO you know blah 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 um, you can reset the UI position, lock the minimap, um, adjust the minimap, which I don't actually have open, which I will open now. So this is the minimap. Um, obviously, I you know I don't want it transparent, do I? <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> I need to see it without hovering over it to see it. Um, so that's kind of that. Um, you know, you've got your standard view. The health or mana as a percentage, but I mean, I like to see the numbers, it's better. Um, also, for comparing stats with similar characters. Um, pop up messaging is sent to your screen. I don't actually have this turned on, but I'm guessing this is kind of like the scrolling combat text, um, you know, popping up in the middle of the screen, blah, blah, blah. So it's probably a good idea to have that turned on. Um, display whisper notices, yeah, I've got that turned on. Display cooldown notices, yep, we'd like to know what the hell is going on. Display effect icons aligned to the left, so I don't know if I've got any effects on me or what. Um, also, the other thing is when you when you do press escape and bring up the mouse pointer, you can actually just grab on anything, you know, like and move it all over the place, which is which is nice straight away because uh, there's nothing like. I mean, even going back to things like Star Wars: The Old Republic, it really annoyed me that the UI was so static in that game, you know. You need to be able to edit your UI. It's like a staple thing to me in MMOs, and uh, you know I'm quite impressed with what I'm seeing with Terra initially. Anyway, um, and then obviously you've got your message. So yeah, what I wanted to show you was the the fact that you could actually scale the UI and scale specific elements and move it all around and make it look pretty damn good straight off the bat. You know, so this will be my typical UI um, to begin with. And uh, I think I'd best go off and start, start playing the game. Oh, yeah. So I've been Starless from Unitlost.com, people. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Terra content and all kinds of PC gaming goodness. I'll catch you next time, people. Doodoo.